Whoa, what happened there? Okay, let's go from the top. So Magnus with White against Niels Grandelius. Yeah, another another occurrence of, uh, of ah that position again. This is just a position of the tournament somehow. Everybody's playing it. There's there's a rash. There's a rash of uh, this variation. And yeah, a6. Uh, we, we have seen Shaq play bishop be 7 knight c6, but we also seen this. Ah, and he just missed the four. Well, I mean, missed maybe is wrong, but he allowed the 5 e4. And now after bishop after e f3. Which by faith knight c3 is probably what he missed. Yeah. You have to assume this is what he missed. And now knight e2 and fg2 is a very cute little. We're going to put it on the board. There we go. Absolutely. Yeah. So he had to go back to b2 and play fg2 rook e1. Uh, but honestly, the position, I understand that this is probably not ideal. But it doesn't look clear at all because the pawn on g2 actually works as a pretty decent shield for the white king. And black doesn't actually have a pawn on g7. So you can imagine the bishop on b2 playing a very major role uh, in, in the rest of this game. Although I guess eventually you can play f7, f6 and uh, blunt it a little bit. Actually, very interesting developments there. So we left it. Can't we, can't we take on b4 twice? Let's have a look. This is where we've got to. Queen d7 is unplayable because queen b4. I thought rook c7 was made. And it is indeed made, just not to the side that I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. And okay. without that bishop, our attack is really not that great. So take here. Queen d7 is actually made, oh, right? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's that that no longer works. Yep, yeah, yep. that no longer works. Rook c7 played by Magnus. So what's the bailout for Niels if he wants a bailout here? Knight c2, maybe? Well, OK, so how did, how did we get? He played queen e6 just to land the knight on e5. And now after queen takes b4, we, he can give a check and then a check from g4 and then play queen h3. Hang on, what? Hang on. Ah, there's knight g3 there. I'm, I'm, I'm once again being willfully stupid. If you give a check, king g2, you can play knight takes e1. That is a legitimate move you can try. But queen g4, knight g3 loses on the spot, I'm pretty sure. Here, white will have to play king f1, I suspect. And we can try putting the knight on some good square. Knight d3, queen d4, try this one. maybe or queen. Yeah, I don't know which square to choose. Um, queen e7, maybe. That doesn't look quite right. Queen it's seven. not a bad move, but it, like I don't know if it's the best move. Queen e seven mm. takes takes with the bishop. I do win the f six pawn this check. Mm. It's not horrible, but there might be something stronger. Black got mated. Ninety five, yeah. So he's gone for this. Ah, and the king went to g three, which is even smarter, I guess, to to stop all the checks. Queen f five, f four, and uh, yeah, queen queen c four, queen c yeah, bishop f eight, and then queen c seven. Very very facile. Uh, victory from a certain point onwards by Magnus. I still have to wonder if uh, this kind of a uh, all in with Queen e6, 95 was necessary. It didn't really feel like uh, Niels absolutely had to go for that, but 